Pink Live in the Bing Lounge with Leroy Bell and his only friends. Leroy, it's great to have you here. Thank Along you. with Terry Morgan and uh, Davis Martin on the drums. Good trip down from Seattle, guys? Yeah, not bad. I mean, yeah. you know, the usual rain. Yeah. <laughs> Seems like what's, it's always what's on new? The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's always on the I-5. You're going to be at Alberta Rose uh, Saturday night, which is one of our great new venues. Uh, beautiful spot that's been refurbished along Alberta. What are you guys doing tonight? You're in town. Can you tell us? I have no idea. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping. I don't know. <laughs> it's not the end of a road trip. Like, we're super tired, so. Yeah. We might be up for something. Who knows? We'll see. They'll find us somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of newcomers uh, here to your beautiful sound, Leroy. And his only friends, I have to ask what that's about. You know, we were, uh, we were down in San Francisco playing uh, opening for um, Roberta Flack a few years ago. And we kept trying to come up with names. And she had, it was like Roberta Flack and friends. And, uh, and we were just trying to make jokes. And some, we were saying, and his how about his lonely friends or his homely friends or somebody came up with his only friends and we went hey there it is i don't remember who it was so it was uh his only friends i thought you know i'd get the sympathy vote and <laughs> no matter where either that or you know make people laugh or something and i think we have a little bit of everything here it's stuck <laughs> yeah i i wanted to do a quick shout out you mentioned Roberta flag but you perform with so many amazing musicians uh he's played with you know a, alongside guys like bb king and uh, taj mahal and al green and jackie green who's in town tonight oh, wow. you know yeah so there's something you yeah. can you know, <laughs> go surprise your yeah. friend uh so when you're around greats uh like that and fellow musicians who inspire do we do you guys even have a chance to soak it in and get inspired or you know exchange ideas we don't exchange that many ideas. It's fun watching them because you always learn something, you know, from some of the veterans. And um, we get to meet and hang out with some of them. We've spent some time with B.B. King and heard some great stories that we can't mention here on TV. <laughs> and um, <laughs> about the good old days. Uh, and uh, a lot of other people. We've we met, had a good time know. with Richie Havens a couple years yeah, ago. Yeah, we did. We, I don't think we've had a bad show with anybody we've uh, opened for or played with. Uh, everybody's been pretty nice. And um, we come away with a good feeling. So it hasn't been one of these, oh, no, it's the opening act. Get out of here. No, remember we did that show at Humphreys with Joe Cocker, and he was very complimentary. Oh, yeah. And we talked very to nice. him for a long time. That was cool. I was like, you're my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. He goes, try not to make me sound so old. <laughs> <laughs> Well, clearly you guys have a, a lot of inspiration in the kind of music you do. It's kind of got a, this, this timeless feeling to it. I think everybody here can agree on it as we're listening to it. I wanted to pick your brain here, Le Leroy, for a second about songwriting. It's an art. Uh, and you had the chance very early on uh, to work with your uncle Tom Bell, uh, speaking of Sokin in the real thing, a songwriter's hall of fame guy who worked with Spinners and Marley and Earth, Wind and Fire and huge list, and he's your uncle. And you were there to write some important songs for guys like Elton John. What was that like? I mean, did he like sit at your elbow and did, did it make you nervous or what did he do? No, you know, uh, we'd been writing for him. We were kind of staff writers. Uh, I'm a partner then, Casey James, and um, we'd pretty much been humiliated by that time. So we were pretty good by the time, you know, people like Elton John came through because uh, We'd go in and write songs, and if the songs, you know, you'd play him the song, he'd be sitting in a little room here. You just finish writing the song, and you think, this is the greatest song ever. And he, you would try to figure out what he's thinking, and he's making, you look over, and he's making something with a piece of paper, and all of a sudden you realize it's a paper airplane. Mm -hmm. And he's taking your lyrics and throwing them out the window. <laughs> That's pretty humiliating. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, after that, nothing was too bad. But, uh, yeah, he didn't cut us any breaks, but we did get a lot of breaks because of him him being producing a lot of the acts like Elton John, and um, we got to submit our songs, which is half the battle, and uh, we got lucky. Do you think that there is one thing that makes it a song, that the one it factor for you guys? I don't think there is an it factor. I think you, I've heard that you can't write a hit song. You can only write a good song, because a hit song depends on so many other things. Timing, who's putting the song out, you know, where the, where the audience is at the time when the song comes out. It, there's so many other factors that you can't control. So all you can do is write a good song as, good as, you, as well as you can. 
Well, I think we should hear some more songs. Oh, thank you. Leroy Bell and his only friends. Thank you. 